here's Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. I managed to stump one of California Bicycle Coalition directors by asking a simple question. Are motorists required to follow the three-foot law if the cyclists are, well, behaving badly? The three-foot rule is now law. What it basically means, drivers are required to give bicyclists a three-foot cushion to avoid bike versus auto collision. We're supposed to get the same rights as a vehicle when we're riding down the streets, and we don't get, and we don't get that. The drivers don't respect the bicyclists at all. Now, the three-foot law does not apply if the cyclist is in a protected bike lane, like this one on Polk Street, which is technically known as a Category 3 bike lane. Also, the three-foot law does not apply if the cyclist is riding on a sidewalk. And the three-foot law does not apply to cyclists. You heard me right. It does not apply to cyclists. In fact, cyclists can get as close as they want to your car or bus while riding, but it's the motorist who needs to use caution when driving around. I know, there are many motors are going, well, how is that fair? Well, let's be realistic. Drivers, you're operating a 4,000-pound-plus cage with wheels, and cyclists, well, they have on a helmet. So it is fair to the cyclists that you have to watch out. That being said, cyclists need to follow the rules of the road at all times. If you see signs that read, bicyclists get full use of the lane, that is different from the three-foot rule. That means if there's a bike, you need to change lanes before you pass. Now back to the three-foot rule. The law was intended for rural areas more than urban areas like San Francisco, where it's sort of controlled chaos for everyone. But that doesn't mean that drivers should treat the law like it doesn't exist. Drivers need to do everything in their power to give bicyclists a safety net. Now with all things being equal, if there is a collision involving a car and a bike, if the police can determine that the collision was in fact the driver's fault, the ticket could reach as high as $900. We all have to get along, whether it's a cyclist or a motorist. In the end, it all boils down to everyone getting to and from home safely. Our lives depend on it. In San Francisco, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.